<clears throat> My brother, the asshole psycho shooter. This police station actually looks a lot like the other police station. In the first level. Take me back there. Oh, come on, Merle. It's me. Merle. What slower than impersonating a man's long lost baby brother? You're just trying to gain false entry. That's what you're doing. Damn it, Merle. I'm just gonna leave you here. Keep your pants on, sweetheart. I like this place down pretty good. Them people lock me up for days in the dark with all them abominations. But look at who's just a little bit too smart for him. Bro, you're stir-fried from the sun and the booze and whatever else you've been into. Uh, I do feel a little warm now that you mention it. I sprang myself, see? Established my little sniper's nest right here. And then I commenced sending them soldiers a packing. I rang the alarms, calling in the abomination. Man, those aren't soldiers down there. Just some scavengers trying to help people out. Don't even know who you are. They're in uniform, ain't they? And they came to take me back to the hole. I'm not going anywhere but Jake's, and that's where you're gonna take me. Come on. Let's go, you ape. Guess I gotta lug your thick ass back across town. Man, you must be running over 106. My chair! Yeah, it'll be here when you come back. <laughs> That's just pretty cool, and also that, that awesome that they got the original original voices from the TV series. Sorry, brother. Trophy. Continue. Inventory. Proceed to map. Course. View. Chance to find supplies high. We need some really some supplies here. So let's check it out. And again, it's this level is at night time, so it gets a lot more creepier. There's a diner up ahead, you may have supplies. Let's search the diner. So that's nice. It's I think a level like the barn where you get like maybe we find one or two healing items. And again we only can go in there alone. Let's check very quickly the inventory. I don't think we need so we don't need the revolver. Because we ran out of ammo. Let's actually leave also the shotgun ammo here in the car. Sniper rifle ammo we take with us. There we go. So we have got five equipment slots free to use here. To scavenge some in order to find some stuff and put them in our inventory. Those missions, of course, are way more relaxing than the normal ones. And we find some fuel yeah, here. Yeah. And I think they will swarm us, swarm us, if I found enough of the fuel. But it probably will get swarmed. Hopefully there are some he is some healing stuff here. And I don't know if I wanna go for the fuel first or into the diner. 
actually check the fuel. Can we actually enter the house also? Yes, we can, so let's check. Which house should we check first? The diner or this house? Check back here. Those screams. Tyler heard something. Let's actually go to the diner first, I think. It's the better thing to do because maybe there are some survivors. Oh, what has the world come to? And if we talk to them then probably everything will go to shit. And we have to fight and stuff like that, so Let's quickly... Okay, there's nothing back there. Come on, I need some heal items. Come on, give me! This lamb at least something we... kinda useful. Oh my god, I thought there was a sports drink, energy drink. Oh my god, there's nothing we can really use here. Everything is empty, of course. Of course. I should have known it. And there we, there we go, at least some glass bottles. I don't think we can play the game very far without some healing items. That's a huge toilet, actually. And also this level is way too peaceful. What the hell? Such a huge area and nothing to find here. That's really weird. Let's check the house. At least one healing, one food or something. We need some of something to survive. Everyone is dead here. And some more rifle ammo, which we don't actually need because we have so much of it. Oh my god, nothing here to heal. Oh, this looks good. And finally... Yes! So maybe we can <laughs> continue this let's play a bit longer. What are those things? Let's not talk to her. Let's search the rooms first. Maybe there's something else we need. Doesn't look that way, so let's actually talk to her. What are those things? I was walking in the woods not too far from here when I heard the screams. I stayed in the woods for a few days before coming here to look for supplies. I could use a ride if you have room. Come on! Does she come with us or is she just at the end of the level by the car? Yes, we got a new companion here for our little group. Let's see what are her attributes actually. So yeah, now we have three survivors. 
Mia also from the last things and Meryl actually is not here maybe because we only can have three other survivors here let's move on with the game and let's go to Oakview again chance of breakdown high what does this actually mean it's again use the streets medium fuel is not really see stop occasionally for supplies oh now I get it can use the back roads maybe we can find again a barn or something now we actually have really this river with 19 fuel to get where we're going Okay, now we have to find again some fuel. So now I get the whole system with the fuel and with the car and stuff. Again, let's see. We have a glass bottle, so now we can drop the flare in the car, let them here. Sports drink, and let's actually leave the food here. Sports drink should be enough here for this level. And also. Pistol armor, ammo, armor. Why I always want to say armor instead of ammo. Shotgun we take, rifle ammo we take also with us. So here we go. Search also this location here to find some fuel to move on in the story. And it's the same map again, god damn it. Nearly the same map, I think. Or is it actually the same map? Now we have to farm basically for fuel. Oh my god, and I think someone is behind us. It's so weird when you like execute a guy and you have this uh, this crazy sound effect. lure that one enemy here back here so I know this is kind of repetitive right now here in the game but we need some fuel I think overall the game is kind of fun so far not the best one of course so playing a bit of Bioshock <laughs> but again if you're a big Walking Dead fan, then maybe you will also have some fun with this game, or at least can watch a let's play. Don't have to play it for yourself. It's really so weird that we have to play the whole section again. That is not really great game design. few more zombies let's actually see another glass bottle oh, yeah. so we have a lot of the same areas I think later in the game but they just changed the changed the spawns and so, stuff. So oh my god! And that zombie spawned behind us for sure. That's really the only big, big, big downside of this game. I think for me at least. The weird spawns and stuff. And again, killing with our pipe, everyone. 
Luckily, oh my god, this is a wooden door actually. And we also can hold our two finally, found out. And we need only two hits. But I think we need more stamina that way. And are getting tired very fast. Oh, there you are. Oh my god, and I've missed again. Check if... Oh, of course. Luckily a check behind us. And now we're in big trouble. Basically, when you hold the attack thing, it's really hard actually to hit the enemies. And the chance of getting hit is way higher that way. And at least we got here the sports drink and the food again at the same location, which is kind of funny. I think personally, I mean, so basically you can farm this area to get yourself some really a lot of healing items. It's really weird that you talk about farming in and left for that game. But now I think we have enough fuel to get away here. Maybe we are even fully healed at the beginning of the next uh, mission. So let's get out of here. Proceed to map. Now we got really a lot of fuel to go. Let's go to Oakview. Merle, man, I gotta tell you something. Something happened, bro. I got it. Full bore, flesh eating apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, but we were up at Jess's camp house when the, when the eaters came down on us. We never heard anything about them. The torso up. Jess and me, we were the only ones to get out. Where's the old man? He was up at the camp house too. He didn't make it, bro. He did? The old man's dead? You let the abominations get him? Did he turn into one? Did you let that happen too? No, I... We gave him mercy. what did he say? What did he say? He said, uh... He said... Tell Merle I'm proud of him. Merle? <laughs> what do you really say? <laughs> that was some awesome dialogue. So now we have three survivors and Merle. We can command around 